Good morning, everybody. It's a rainy day at Produce. Nothing exciting happened. Nothing's going on. Everybody's just sitting in the car waiting. Nobody can get out and walk around or do anything because of the rain, but the rain is a blessing. So the line should be moving shortly. People are still pulling in. We got we got a good bit of people, not as many as last week, maybe because of the rain. But anyway, we will update y'all on what's going on if something happens. I appreciate y'all watching. I've gotten some new subscribers. I want to welcome them. This channel is just about whatever I do every day in retirement. Nothing fancy, nothing staged, nothing special. It's just real life. So if you like everything staged and different camera shots and, and uh, you know, all edited up, then this, this channel is not for you. If you want something real life, then this channel might be for you. Anyway. As uh, things progress around here, I'll give y'all updates. Uh, and back to the rain, we're supposed to have rain every day for a week. Actually, we've got a cold front coming in right now. This is Labor Day weekend. Y'all will see this next Thursday after Labor Day. These produce videos are a week behind every week. I've said that in other videos in case some of y'all have missed that. Um... Anyway, we got a cool front coming in, and our highs is going to be in the low 80s. And uh, sometime towards the end of next week, our nights is supposed to be in the 60s. Y'all, that, that's unheard of in Texas for this time of year. So we might really end up having a bad, uh, having a bad winter. They're saying we will. I hope not, but... You know, whatever happens, is happens and we'll deal with it like we always do, right? Anyway, we'll be back with updates. Well, the line is moving early, thank the Lord. It's moving about 10 or 15 minutes early. The rain has stopped for right now. These are the people waiting over here. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm not really looking over there and watching where I'm going. But maybe y'all can see how many how many cars is out there. A lot. Not as many as last week, though. Not as many as last week. Yeah, we were piled up way back there to that tree last week and they was out in the road remember and over on the highway so I gotta go down here and go around the block I was on the third row today I got there at the same time but there was people there before me so I was on the third row instead of the second row so I'll be a little bit further back in the line, but that's okay. This is still considered the front of the line compared to all those people that were back there in that parking lot, huh? Well, I don't guess we're gonna make it around the second corner. We'll be back if there's something exciting to show y'all. Hey guys, we're almost up here. 
I didn't say anything about Brinley and Nugget because they're not with me today because I've got to make another stop when I leave here and I didn't want uh, them to have to sit in the car. It's only 77 degrees y'all it's it's humid but it it's it's fairly pleasant much better than 104 or whatever it's been but it's uh, around 12 noon that's when this line starts moving and I guess we've been in line maybe 10 minutes it's moving fairly quickly Hopefully we'll get something good, but whatever it is, we'll use it. I'm going to fry fish today when I get home. I might make a video of me frying fish. Y'all know that would be a, a, a big hit on YouTube. Y'all know everybody would want to see that. But I think I'm going to fry fish. We got, you know, fish a couple of times. A couple of bags of fish, catfish. If y'all watch the food bank hauls and so I'm going to I took about a half a bag out and thawed it out in the refrigerator overnight and uh, I'm gonna cook that y'all know I eat one meal about mid-afternoon so by the time I get go do my errands and get home and get this food sorted out and washed and put up It'll be time for me to cook, and I'll cook me some fish. I don't know what I'm going to cook with it. I am going to fry it, though. I've been hungry for fried catfish for a month or so. It's been a while since I've had it. I could fry it out on the grill today since it's not so hot. I have a burner on my grill. My girl grill, because it ain't very big. Y'all know men, they have them big old grills and do all that fancy stuff, like my son. He, he can control his from his phone, y'all. He, he checks everything on his phone from his. He cooks some good ribs, I know that. He's got that rib cooking down to an art. That man's drinking a regular Coke over there, and man, that looks so good right now. <laughs> Isn't that funny when y'all see, you won't be thinking about nothing and see somebody have something and think, oh, that looks good. Anyway, I'm still searching for land, house, condo, apartment, something. My daughter-in-law was trying to encourage me this morning on not giving up because after all this time, I was doing it way before I started showing y'all videos. So I'm, I'm getting tired, getting real tired. But I haven't thrown in the towel, but I'm about ready to. In the back, back seat, it don't matter. No, I gotta go somewhere else when I leave here, so. Okay. This is one in the back seat. I'm glad the rain stopped for y'all. Thank you. Okay, y'all. Looks like a lot of fruit today. I'm not sure what. I look like grapes, peaches, nectarines, something. I'm not sure what it is, but I guess we'll figure it out when we get home. I'm going to end this for now because y'all know this road out here is horribly, horribly bad and it makes such an awful noise in the videos. 
Oops, almost dropped the phone, guys. We got lots of potatoes. Potatoes, potatoes, onions, sweet potatoes. I don't know what these are. I don't know what these, they're gold, yellow on the outside, but they're not yellow on the inside. But anyway, we got a lot of potatoes. I'll put that out on the porch. We got three bags of white nectarines. And we got three bags of grapes. Good, good grapes. They're not overripe. And the nectarines are really hard. They're not ripe either. So this will last definitely a whole week. I may have to share with the kids again. They like grapes and nectarines or peaches or whatever I get. So I may have to give them some or sweet potatoes. They enjoy it too. Anyway, this is our produce haul for today. We'll see y'all next Thursday for another produce haul and see what goodness the Lord gives us. And Brinley says she was really glad Mama was home. She was just really glad and she greeted Mama and gave me good sugar. And Nugget bought Mama a toy. I don't know where Nugget went, but he's in the living room chewing on his toy. And they was fussing at Mama because she didn't take them this time. But, but Mama had to do other stuff today, and it was pouring down rain. It was pouring down rain. Nugget, you want to say hello? You want to say hello or Nugget? Oh, see, he's on the couch. He's on the couch, chewing his bones, and he's just always a good hound dog. He just lay around and sleep, and he gets all his toys on the couch, and he just lays up there, and he's a good boy, and Brinley is a good big sister. We love y'all. Jesus loves you more. Y'all be blessed. Don't forget to say your prayers, and we'll see y'all in the next video.